name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our Savior. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have a great sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show favour, Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the book of Exodus. Moses went and told the people all the commands of the Lord and all the ordinances. In answer, all the people said with one voice, We will observe all the commands that the Lord has decreed. Moses put all the commands of the Lord into writing. <clears throat> and early next morning, he built an altar at the foot of the mountain with twelve standing stones for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then he directed certain young Israelites to offer holocausts and to immolate bullocks to the Lord as communion sacrifices. Half of the blood Moses took up and put into basins. The other half he cast on the altar. And taking the book of the covenant, he read it to the listening people, and they said, We will observe all that the Lord has decreed. We will obey. Then Moses took the blood and cast it towards the people. This, he said, is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you, containing all these rules. The word of the Lord. Pay your sacrifice of thanksgiving to God. The God of gods, the Lord, has spoken and summoned the earth. From the rising of the sun to its setting, out of Zion's perfect beauty he shines. Pay your sacrifice of thanksgiving to God. Summon before me my people who made covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his justice, for he, God, is the judge. Pay your sacrifice of thanksgiving to God. Pay your sacrifice of thanksgiving to God and render him your votive offerings. Call on me in the day of distress. I will free you and you shall honor me. Pay your sacrifice of thanksgiving to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Accept and submit to the word which has been planted in you and can save your souls. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus put a parable before the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everybody was asleep, his enemy came, sowed down on all among the wheat and made off. When the new wheat sprouted and ripened, the damnel appeared as well. The owner's servants went to him and said, Sir, 
Was it not good seed that you sowed in your field? If so, where does the dharma come from? Some enemy has done this, he answered. And the servant said, Do you want us to go and weed it out? But he said, No, because when you weed out the dharma, you might pull up the wheat with it. Let them both grow to the harvest, and at harvest time I shall say to the reapers, First collect the dharma, and tie it in bundles to be burnt, then gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One common form of an act of contrition during the sacrament of reconciliation, the one that I learned to say when I made my first reconciliation, first confession, we end with those words, Oh my God, because you are so good, I am very sorry that I have sinned. And with the help of your grace, I will not sin again. I think from the time I made my first confession until the, the, even this day, when I say those words, I, deep down I know that I will indeed sin again. Although we try, although we make an effort, although we, we make promises to ourselves, we know that at times we are weak, and indeed we do sin again. In the book of Exodus, we hear the from which we heard from this morning, we hear the people who have been told what the commands of the Lord are. Given to Moses, he presented them to the people, and they announce in today's first reading, we will observe all that the Lord has decreed, we will obey. But of course, they didn't. Many people broke those commandments, and many people still do. What's the important thing is to know that we have the grace of God that is with us always. And if we allow ourselves to be molded by that grace, we indeed can move away from darkness and move towards light. In today's gospel, Jesus tells us that good grows with bad. And so sometimes it is with our lives. We pray that when the harvest comes, the Lord will always see the good that we have done. So let us turn to the Lord with our prayers and intercessions. We pray for the church, for all of God's people. They, through their baptism, may live up to the calling that they have received. Lord, in your hearts, hear our prayer. We pray for our world and its many needs. We pray for peace and reconciliation amongst the nations. Lord, in your hearts, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves, that we may always turn away from sin and believe in the good news. Lord, in your hearts, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, that they find healing and peace. Lord, in your hearts, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, may they find eternal life and rest in God's love. Lord, in your hearts, hear our prayer. We ask Mary, Queen of Heaven, to be with us and to pray for us as we sing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our life. Amen. We make these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of the Blessed are you, Lord of all creation, for through your goodness we have spread to all, which earth has given unto human hands and name, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, O God of all creation, and through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, we could give you thanks. It will be our spiritual drink. Let us be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that thy sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise of the glory of the name, for our good and the good of all the gifts of the church. For God, who with one perfect sacrifice, brought to completion the very offerings of the Lord. Accept, we pray, the sacrifice of your faithful servants, and make it holy. As you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honour of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation. And so, in company with the cries of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy then for these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jews. So the veil may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you will drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of when we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we proclaim your death of the Lord until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you all the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have found his work to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember the Lord your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the, res in the hope of the resurrection. PJ and Minnie Campbell, for whom we offer this Mass, and all who have died. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy.
mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heads to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and God is yours for ever. Amen. The Saviour's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord. And with your spirit, love God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Love God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Love God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the sight of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be entered under my roof, but I must say, Lord, and my soul shall be healed. From last Monday, we have reverted to the giving out of Holy Communion from the sanctuary. I'll give Holy Communion first to the people on this side, then the people from the middle, and the people from this side. So please make three more million cubes to give that to the
transformed our heart to spiritual healing. Join those who join us today in the live stream. Thank Jesus. I believe that you are present and you must always stand ready to be your own. I love your love, all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come please spiritually into their hearts. Be gracious if you will bear our way and unite us our soul with you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Thank you.